Hi everybody, it's R.C. Peck, the founder of Fearless Wealth and the creator of the Fearless Wealth portfolio. And this is my market situation report for the week ending. It's December 15th and I sit down and I think each week, what is most important? Is it something that's going on in the market or is it something that's going on in my head? Or is it something that's going on that I see over and over? And this week, I wanna just quickly touch on one thing that I see in the market but then get to this statement on the screen here and answer why people will continue to get poorer over the next two decades in the West. And before I get to that, I just want to point out the thing I saw this week that maybe other people have seen. And Chairman Ben Bernanke came out of his house on Wednesday, saw his shadow and said they're going to print more money. And you can kind of tell on the screen here, if you can look right there, this is where the announcement was made and the market popped up here. But what was more interesting to me was not the pop, but the pop only lasted, didn't even last until the end of the day. The day actually ended lower, and then the following day ended lower again. So since his announcement, the market's down 1.33%. So I thought that was interesting. And that's something for us to just notice as more money printing has less and less effect on the markets. So why people are really getting poor and will continue to get poor over the next two decades. Um, the first reason is people are slaves to their beliefs and they're not able to see the facts in front of them. This is why doing more research on something you already believe almost never gets you or leads you to a different uh, result. Facts are more important than beliefs, but they're rarely used. Uh, the second reason is people often collect knowledge and they collect knowledge, they're knowledge collectors because there's really very little discomfort to being a knowledge collector where if you want to gain experience, there's going to be a lot of uncomfortableness in gaining experience and people lean away from discomfort. And when they do that, they don't gain experience and they don't actually learn anything. The third one is, you know, people hope hoping it will get better. And if you always have hope, you always have the hope that things will get better. The problem is it usually doesn't happen that way. And in the world of money, one of the most effective things to do is to really just kind of look at reality, look at your problem, turn towards your problem. And when you turn towards your problem, you cut it in half. And when you turn away from your problem, which is what I think people are doing with hope, you double the size of your problem. So I suggest you turn towards your problem. Then the next one is people's stories. People love their own stories and they love listening to stories. And people often buy into stories while I think what you should do is actually look at the direction of the investment you're buying and be prepared to be wrong. Stories almost always trump direction and stories are what sell newsletters. The next one is people believe that if they have a complex investment strategy, then they'll be able to take back control of their money. But actually, having a simple strategy will always trump a complex strategy. Simple is extremely powerful and strong. Next, people often believe that if they can just get the timing right, then they can get everything right. But actually, if they can just get the direction right, which just so you know is so much easier to do, then you can get everything right. Timing takes, if you're looking to time things, mostly this is option traders, currency traders, traders, where direction is really what's going to make you richer. So this week's takeaway from the market situation report, and I, I'm, I'm having this reflective kind of thoughts in my mind because I'm doing the Millionaire's Academy coaching program right now, and I get to kind of relive through all the philosophy and behaviors and tools that I've been teaching for 15 years and it's just great reminders of what works and what doesn't work. So what I want you to think about and do is to lean into discomfort. You know, timing can be exciting, but direction really creates wealth. And I understand that complexity can feel really right to your system, but simplicity creates wealth. And I understand that stories can feel really great, but direction, knowing the direction of something creates wealth. Hope gives you hope, but reality creates wealth. 
Knowledge is free and is easy to collect, but experience creates wealth. And beliefs feel true, but facts create wealth. I'm so glad you guys are here and with me. I look forward to speaking with you next week. We only have a couple more weeks left for this year. So probably next week what I'll do, even though um, other things may come up in the market, though I'll cover that, we'll go over some tax ideas and some tax strategies. Y'all take care and I'll speak to you then.